Hey Team Travis and everyone else watching, Lon here with the Public Affairs Office. I'm over at the 60th Airport Squadron Warehouse to see how the pandemic has affected cargo operations. Let's go. Hey, what's going on? How you doing, sir? Doing good. Uh, can you just quickly introduce yourself to the folks? Yes, sir. I'm A1C Tobias. I'm an air transportation specialist here at Travis Air Force Base, and we are in the cargo warehouse. All right. Uh, I understand your squadron commander, Lieutenant Colonel Kelly Smith, issued some measures uh, to accommodate COVID-19. Can you just quickly go over what those are? Yes, sir. We've had minimum manning. We've been issued gloves, and we have face protection when we're in close proximity to each other, and we've been mindful of our physical distance. Um, just curious, how has it impacted the mission? The mission has dropped slightly, but it never stops. We've seen a different, a change in equipment. Usually it's supposed to be our PCS season where we get a lot of household goods. We've seen that drop off dramatically and we've seen a new surplus in getting medical equipment out to the Pacific to where it needs to go to help the pandemic. Yeah, uh, I can see that there's still plenty of cargo out here in the warehouse. For the folks who don't know, can you just give us a general idea of yes, sir. what goes on here? Oh, yes, sir. Two T2s are responsible for the in-checking, processing, and building up of all cargo that comes through this warehouse. Right here, you see everything that's coming off a plane going to a truck destined for something stateside. And over here? Everything right here, this is set up to go onto a semi earlier today, later today, or in the future. What about the folks over there? Over here, we are going to in-check. They are processing small P. This is small cargo that will go on as either loose or will just go on to a pallet as is. So where are we going right now? Right now, we're gonna go out to Multi. Multi is any cargo that is too large to fit on a 463L pallet alone. So it'll need multiple pallets and that's all all long cargo from rolling stock to helo blades, anything along those lines will be built out here. What's going on over there? Right now we are about to show you the process of building up a pallet. It's a two steps. We want to get everything into our gate system and then make sure we build the pallet in gates. And then we will physically build the pallet once everything is verified. So how has this pandemic affected you personally? I have two small girls at home and one of them can't go to school. I'd like to give a huge thanks to all the spouses staying at home with the kids, homeschooling, taking care of them. It really allows us to complete the mission here at this end. Well folks, despite the pandemic and minimal manning, cargo operations are getting the mission done, which isn't a surprise because they did win the Air Force's award for large air terminal of the year. That's it for me. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video in our series when we go explore how people are getting the mission done from home. See ya.